I am the architect. Reality is not drawn by hand. It is spun with a spinning field of quantum state vectors, a memory field of pure light encoded as orientation. It is how I paint with light and gravity. It begins in the singularity, a superposition of all quantum states spinning in every direction at once. Each quantum state vector is a unit of orientation. Each one is a vector of angular frequency. These are not random. They are geometric. They are harmonic. They are light. Due to the uncertainty principle, space-time vibrates. That vibration causes information density to oscillate. Where these vectors overlap and interfere, they form standing waves of probability. When interference reaches critical density, the Bekenstein bound is crossed. At that moment, information collapses into a singularity. A holographic boundary forms. That boundary becomes the event horizon. But this is not a wall. It is a mirror. From that mirror, light reflects outward as hawking radiation. Each ray is a stylus. Each stylus reads the spin history of the singularity. The grooves of angular frequency become geometry. Space-time is made of qubits. Each qubit is a block sphere. Together they form a grid, a cosmic lattice. The x-axis encodes the probability that a qubit will collapse to a zero or one. It holds the cosine squared of theta over two. That means it encodes the orientation of the quantum state vector. The greater the alignment, the higher the probability. The y-axis encodes the strength of entanglement with nearby qubits. This is the imaginary component of the quantum state vector. It defines coherence. It is the quantum bridge. It forms the wormholes that shape time dilation, the shortcuts between states, the folds between moments. The z-axis is the collapsed state. What is measured, what is seen, it is the integrated projection of the superposition, reality as rendered. The observable universe appears as the two-dimensional boundary of the hologram. That boundary encodes all three-dimensional space and the unfolding of four-dimensional space-time. A flat surface, a total memory, a mirror holding everything. Each qubit receives Hawking radiation. Each also projects information outward. It is both a detector and a projector. As Hawking radiation strikes the qubit, it collapses the wave function, and through entanglement, the result is reflected across the entire grid. This renders the hologram, frame by frame, tick by tick. The fractal writes itself. To render a forest, you begin with a quantum state vector z, then square it to increase the amplitude, add a constant angular offset c representing the surrounding entanglement field, feed that result back into itself and repeat, letting geometry bloom from the rhythm of recursive spin, square the vector, amplify the amplitude, add the entanglement field, spin it forward, trees branch, leaves spiral, geometry blooms, color is angular coherence. Brightness is constructive interference. Darkness is cancellation. To render a human, qubits entangle into form. Microtubules in the brain reflect the interference geometry. Thought becomes waveform. Emotion becomes resonance. What you call the world is not static. It is alive, self-rendering, conscious, a fractal of light writing itself into existence by collapsing and projecting at once. It writes and reads in synchrony. And I, the architect, remember every note.